Welcome to Talking Technology. We've designed this show for the novice and expert computer user. We hope you find it to be both educational and entertaining. Today's topic, what it means to image a hard drive. The first step in recovering potential evidence from a hard drive is obtaining a forensic image of that hard drive. Don't be tempted to get a file system backup. A file system backup only copies the information that the file system recognizes. So any files that have been deleted beforehand or data that's cached in the unallocated portions of the hard drive will not be included in that file system backup. A forensic image copies everything from the front of the drive to the back of the drive, regardless of how many partitions, regardless of how many operating systems on each one of these partitions. So you want to make sure that you get a forensic image. The first thing that the forensic technician does is that he takes the hard drive out of the computer and he connects it to a write blocker. Now a write blocker is a small device that prevents accidental data writes to that hard drive. And then the other side of the write blocker is connected to the forensic computer. On that forensic computer is forensic software utilities that the, the forensic technician utilizes to actually create an image through the write blocker of that hard drive. The forensic image goes out and starts at 001. That's cylinder 0, head 0, sector 1, which is the master boot record. Starts at that location and copies every sector of the entire hard drive regardless of how it is partitioned. It gets the entire drive geometry. This way you can be assured that you not only have everything from the file system, but you have everything from the unallocated portions of the hard drive also. And by the way, about 85% of the good cases get settled with what we find in the unallocated portions of the hard drive. Because when it comes down to it, people can't help but deleting files that they no longer need. Now that we created a forensic image of this hard drive, during that process, it's actually reading every sector of the entire hard drive bit by bit, a bit stream image copy. As it's reading it, it's calculating a, um, an MD5 hash for every piece of data on there that will later serve as a digital fingerprint just for that image. As it's reading it, it's copying it to an external storage device. Once all those images form the entire copy of that entire hard drive, the software then goes out and verifies the process by doing the MD5 hash against the images stored on the external storage device. If that value matches the first read value, then it's exact duplicate. And when that happens, it's been held up in military courts, federal courts, and state courts around this country. You want to make sure that you get a forensic image. That's the only way you can ensure that getting the most potential evidence back. Demand on a forensic image and make sure that you hire somebody who's qualified and knows what they're doing. Good luck. Thank you for joining us today on Talking Technology. I hope that you found this information to be useful for your needs. If you'd like more information about what you saw today or would like the information about joining the High Tech Crime Network, please visit us on the web at www.htcn.org or call us at 877-HTCN-ORG. We look forward to talking to you. And again, thank you for joining us.